Hashtag did you know? Who was the real patriots who saved the Union? Thoughtful face. Please. Answer in the comment box below. Down pointing finger. The first Memorial Day in the United States of America, May 1st, 1865 at the time of the Civil War. Hampton Park was the site of the Washington Race Course, which was owned by the South Carolina Jockey Club and was one of the most famous racetracks of the antebellum South. In late 1864, this site became a large open-air prison for thousands of Union troops evacuated from the Andersonville, Georgia prison in advance of Sherman's march to the sea. Before Charleston fell in February 1865, several hundred of the prisoners died and were buried in mass graves. In an effort led by African-American churches in April 1865, the dead were reinterred in orderly graves enclosed by a picket fence. Over the gate was written, Martyrs of the Race Course. On May 1, 1865, a parade in honor of the prisoners of war who died here took place. With 10,000 participants, according to contemporary accounts, nearly 3,000 were school children from the new Freedmen's Bureau schools. The children led the parade, carrying armloads of flowers and singing patriotic songs. They were followed by women's organizations, church leaders, unionists. Recently emancipated slaves and union troops, including the 54% Massachusetts. The soldiers were later buried in Beaufort and Florence National Cemeteries or in their hometowns. Annual events to honor the dead of both sides of the Civil War eventually became known as Memorial Day. The event in what is now Hampton Park is acknowledged by most historians to be the first Memorial Day in the United States of America.